What's up guys? Hi! Welcome to My Dodger Moment. My name is Peter Sirs and this is my show. You're welcome. Um, so, My Dodger Moment. Uh, let's just start from the beginning, okay? Um, I've been a Dodger fan my entire life. Actually, I've been a Dodger fan since before I was technically alive because I know for a fact that my pregnant mother uh, took me to Dodger games when I was in the womb. So. I've been going to Dodger games since before I was born, what? Um, but I went to my first Dodger game when I was about six weeks old. It was uh, July 1st, 1979. And I do not remember, but uh, I had the ticket stub that said PJ's first Dodger game, that's me. And uh, you know, the Dodgers, you know, as someone growing up in Los Angeles and Southern California, are such a fabric of the culture of this community with the Latino culture and just all the ethnicities really like LA is such a melting pot and the Dodgers have done a great job over the years of you know embracing you know people of all walks of life you know they they, they were the first organization to bring a black player in with Jackie Robinson and Hideo Nomo from Japan and uh Chan, Chan Ho Park from Korea and it's just it goes on and on and they were one of the first teams organizations to get heavily active in scouting like players from Latin America like Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and Venezuela and you get it and so uh, you know the Dodgers have always been something special to me because growing up as a kid especially all I remember my best memories are just going to you know, Dodger games with my mom and with my grandma. Uh, my dad sometimes, but it's mainly my mom and my grandma. They loved going to Dodger games. And it might have been because, uh, you know, they were Latino as well. And it was just part of the whole culture. But I just remember always going to games. And so uh, they were always special to me. You know, I loved everything about it. I would always we'd sit in front of, you know, back then, <laughs> you didn't have games on TV all the time. So, you know, we had to sit in front of the radio and listen to, you know, Vince Scully or Ross Porter calling the games. And, you know, as a kid, you know, you kind of use your imagination and you hear what's going on. And the thing was, is like we lived where on a hill in East L.A. where we could see Dodger Stadium. So you see the lights and there was this radio and it was just kind of like you can kind of picture yourself there. And uh, they were just great memories, you know, and I remember... Um, when my, my, my mom passed away when I was 20. And I, you know, it was devastating. You know, she was the best mom, you know, to me. We had a great relationship. And, you know, at the time when my mom passed away, we didn't live in my childhood home anymore. So uh, we had gotten evicted, but that's another story altogether. <laughs> and uh, it had just happened though, anyway. Um, so I remember after that, this is, it was 1999, my mom passed away. And so in the year 2000, when the season started, you know, I was 20 at that point. So I, I had a, you know, I had a job and I couldn't wait to go to a Dodger game because obviously I love the Dodgers. And I'll never forget going to the first Dodger game that I went to after my mom died. And the second I walked into Dodger Stadium, I felt, I felt something. There was some kind of, it, it, it transported me to my childhood and uh, to a time when, you know, there were no bills or life was easy and you're a kid again. And, but it, I, I felt also as I walked through the gates and just the smells of the ballpark, seeing um, my mom there with me and just kind of remembering all those memories I had as a kid. So it was clear to me at that point that Dodger Stadium, since I didn't have like a childhood home anymore to go back to, Dodger Stadium was the place that I could feel this, you know, spiritual connection with my mom. Like the, it, out of all the places I went to, you know, I, I, I would go to, you know, you know, my mom would take me to Tommy's Burger after games or before games or just whenever, you know. Um, and it was still cool to go to those places, but there was something about going to Dodger Stadium that, that, that made me connected to my mom. And I remember that year, you know, I went to as many games as I could and I would take my little brothers and stuff. So um, this show is gonna be a recollection of 
It's, I'm gonna give you guys 10 of them, okay? So we're gonna count it down from 10. And the purpose behind my Dodger moment is uh, I'm gonna recall some of my favorite games that I've been to um, and just how I felt and where I was and how I experienced it and just all these things. And it'll be a cool thing. Uh, I tried pitching this show to uh, my manager a few years ago and they weren't connected, so uh, it didn't happen. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna make the show. I'm just gonna do it myself. And if people wanna watch it, they'll watch it. And who cares that I don't have a camera crew and it, it's, it's my Dodger moment, okay? So um, I would like to introduce you to the first game of my Dodger moment. Number 10 is gonna be a game that I saw um, May 23rd, 2002. Uh, what's significant about that date? Uh, that is the day, date that I turned 23. And that was what's called your golden birthday. And for those of you guys that don't know what golden birthday is, the golden birthday is when you turn the age of the number of the day that you were so I turned 23 on May 23rd, that's my golden birthday. If you turn 10 on April 10th, that's your gold, get it, you know? So, uh, my girlfriend at the time had asked me, uh, where, or what do you wanna do for your golden birthday? And I thought, at the time, I had looked at the schedule and I was like, oh, the, I think the Dodgers are playing the Diamondbacks. So I told her, I was like, I wanna to go to see the Dodgers wherever they're at. Well, it turned out that the Dodgers <laughs> happened to be uh, in Milwaukee that day. And I hadn't realized that, you know, um, like I said, I thought they were in Arizona. So once I realized the Dodgers were in Milwaukee, I was like, okay, well, that's not gonna happen. For one, who wants to go to Milwaukee? <laughs> And two, I was like, yeah, she's not, like, she's not gonna, I don't expect her to take me across the country just to watch a Dodger game. She doesn't love the Dodgers like I do, you know? Um, and then uh, a, a couple, I don't remember when the exact timeline was, but a couple weeks before my birthday, my girlfriend said, hey, I have to give you your birthday present, but I have to give it to you now because you're gonna need a couple of days off. And I was like, oh, okay. And I thought we were gonna go to Arizona because the Dodgers played in Arizona the day after my birthday, May 24th. And I open up the thing, uh, the card, and it's, you know, it's a beautiful letter from my ex-girlfriend, and I don't have it with me anywhere. I have it somewhere, but it's basically like, you know, your golden birthday, you said you wanted to go to the Dodgers, so I'm gonna take you to what you wanted to do for your golden birthday. We're going to Milwaukee to see the Dodgers. And I was like, what, dude, this is crazy. So, you know, we packed up, uh, you know, packed the suitcase and we were off to see the Dodgers in Milwaukee for my birthday, my golden birthday. So, uh, this game happened to be between obviously the Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers. And I had obviously never been to that ballpark before. And you know, I remember just walking around the ballpark, kind of getting, it's not like there's a ton of history in Milwaukee, but it was nice, you know? It, it, it was, it, it, they had the roof open, uh, not open, closed, because uh, it was raining outside. So it was the first time I had been to a stadium with a retractable roof, and it was just, it was just fun. Um, what I didn't realize was that I was gonna witness history that day. So, let's take a look at what happened May 23rd, 2002. Next pitch, and Green sends a fly ball to right. Ochoa has to go back on the ball. Still going back, and this ball is out of here. A home run for Sean Green, and the Dodgers have a three-run blast and put them ahead six to one. Sean Green has hit six home runs at Miller Park in the last two seasons. Count goes to one ball and one strike. Lyndon Rush joining his late, worked an inning and two thirds. Green swings, drives it high and deep to right center field. This one is back and he's hit his second home run in the ball game, his fourth in the series, and the Dodgers lead it nine to one. And for Sean Green, boy, he is swinging and he looks like the Sean Green of last year. That ball was driven 
And to right center field, it is 374. And that ball was hit up into a landing. Takes outside 1-0. And the next pitch, he drives it to left field. It is up. It is back. And he's done it for the third time. Sean Green, three home runs this afternoon. And the Dodgers lead it 10 to nothing. Green going around second base, and he has not been choosy. He's gone to right field. He's gone to right center. And this time, he hit it over the left field wall. What an afternoon for Sean Green. The next one. There's a drive to right center field. He's done it. Four home runs for Sean Green to tie the major league record. The Milwaukee fans are on their feet giving him a standing ovation as he circles third. What a day. So he takes it. He hits four home runs in a single game. The Dodgers end up hitting eight home runs because the guy afterwards, Hiram Boca Chica, hits a home run. So the Dodgers annihilate the Brewers, 16 to three. Uh, I'm sitting there, I'm just like, this is, at this point, this is the best birthday ever. I got to go to Milwaukee, see the Dodgers play. I got to witness history twice in the same game. And it's just an awesome experience. I'll never forget it. And that was my Dodger moment, uh, May 23rd, 2002. Sean Green, four home runs, plus the single game, total bases record. And that's why I love the Dodgers. That's why I love baseball. Funny, fun fact, uh, I saw Sean Green a year later at like a, like a Dodger fan event. And uh, I was like, Sean, you know, I, I, I'm a big fan. You know, I'm in my Dodger gear, obviously. And, uh, you know, I was in Milwaukee last year when you hit those four home runs and Sean Green looks at me and he's like, what are you doing there? And in my mind, I'm like, to go see you guys, obviously I'm a Dodger fan because back then it wasn't like, it wasn't common like it is now to just go to all these different stadiums. So I was ahead of the curve, it's whatever, no pun intended. Um, but yeah, I'll never forget that game, my golden birthday, Sean Green. And uh, thanks for tuning in. This has been my Dodger moment, you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.